Wagwan beautiful people, welcome to yet another video. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am glad to be back with another video and in today's video we are back with the preview series. Well, this will be a preview series but we're going for another international break and I have to say I'm bummed. I mean this means that we'll not be having some Premier League action and in terms in relations to the international news i have a bit of news of course some chelsea news some my line my predicted lineup my predicted score prediction no <laughs> my predicted scores and hopefully you enjoy this video if you do please give it a thumbs up share it with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video now let's just jump right into it for the Chelsea news, guys, I have to say, <laughs> well, some of the players are still out. I mean, Rhys James is out, Christian Pulisic is still out, Ngolo Kante is out, at least for the next two weeks. But I have some good news. Mason Mount is finally ready to play. I mean, in terms of the international news, as I mentioned earlier, Southgate had put Rhys James and Mason Mount as part of the starting team from England. But Thomas Tuchel mentioned in his conference that they that Rhys James is not well, so of course there will be a bit of communication between Chelsea and England, but Mason Mount and Rhys James were part of the names that were mentioned for the England squad. Now, I have to say, I'm sorry guys, I am really sorry, I mean, I did not, I did not give you a match review for the Juventus game, but you know how it went, I mean, that game was just heartbreaking, I mean, we were humbled to be honest yeah and i was expecting better from the squad i mean i feel like it was more of a tactic from juventus they decided that going into the second half of course no one will be concentrating that much so they decided to take this opportunity and run with it they ran with it so quickly and they got a goal i mean keita to, to such a to such a devastating goal. I mean, even how we lost this game, a one nil, a one nil loss to Juventus. I mean, I was bummed. I was really bummed, and I just didn't want to come here and rant. So I'm sorry I was not able to produce a review for you guys, but I was not in a good space. So Thomas Tuchel mentioned in this conference today, he gave me a little bit of hope that you know they're working on ideas, they're working on some new tactics, and hopefully these new tactics come through for us because we need goals we need to win we need to stop losing we have lost two games back to back and i'm not having it we'll not be having it as a chelsea fan we should be celebrating i mean of course there was no connection between the chelsea the chelsea team in the juventus game i mean lukaku was isolated and i feel like even conte mentioned um former chelsea coach Conte mentioned that Lukaku is not being used to his full potential. I mean, you can see the guy struggling. He looks frustrated. And I hope Tuka can solve this problem because if he isn't able, we're going on a downhill spiral. I do not want that for my club. I want us to be winning trophies. I want us to be winning matches. Doesn't matter who our opponent is, we should come prepared. And no excuses. Of course, some people will put blame on some players. I do it all the time. So he said that no player should be blamed. I mean, in terms of Mason Mount missing, of course, when he was in the pitch, people were saying that he was not playing too well. The online banter was there. But now that he's not there, they're asking for Mason Mount to come back. So now, now that Mason Mount is coming back, will he be able to make a difference? I mean, I hope he makes a difference because we really need to win. We need to score goals. We need to get back our glory. We are currently ashamed because of our losses, our consecutive losses. Now, that was in terms of the review. <laughs> now, in terms of my predicted lineup, I I think Thomas Tuchel should not overthink it. I mean, it's it's from the interviews going about from social media, it's starting to become clear that all these other coaches have figured out Thomas Tuchel's tactics. I mean, once they just um, intercept our balls, it's so hard for us to get it back. And even though we have possession, we're not able to create chances. We should be able to create chances. We should be pressing, we should be looking for the ball, we should not be lazing around and waiting for the ball to come to us. So I expect a good I expect a good game. I expect Chelsea to come back from the ashes. I mean, right now as it is, we need to redeem ourselves. We need to redeem ourselves. We lost a UEFA Champions League game. We lost a Premier League game to Man City. I mean, okay. 
we need to do better. Now, in terms of my starting 11, some players have been shining in terms of how they're playing in the Premier League. Now, the likes of Ruben Luptas Cheek, Chaloba is also doing and is also putting in an effort. Now, Thomas Tuchel is full of surprises these days. And whatever goes on in his mind, only him. It's only him who knows what goes on. So, <laughs> in terms of my starting 11, I expect us to use our formation. Let us use our formation, but let us have that connection that we had before. Let us still be able to make great exceptions without N'Golo Kante. Our team should not revolve around individual talent. We should be working together as a team, and I expect great greatness. Yes. <laughs> so in terms of my starting eleven, let's just jump right into it. I will be having Mendy in goal. Then for my back three, three four two one will be my formation. For my back three, I will be having Rudiger, Thiago Silva, and Christensen. Now, in terms of our right wing back, we will be we will not be having these teams. This is this is this is a liability, but we need to move on. We need to still win without Chris James. Yes, he's a great asset to the team, but we still need to win. So, in terms of my midfield four, I feel like Ben Chigo should be given an opportunity. I mean, he has not been getting a lot of minutes. Thomas Tuchel mentioned he's yet to get there in terms of in form, mentally, in terms of fitness, and in general. So, I don't know whether Ben Chigo will feature in this game, but I would like to see him start. I mean. Ben Chiwell, last season, he was phenomenal. He was so good that Alonso was not getting any minutes. Now, Alonso came back this season with a lot of energy. <laughs> he came in this season. He is in form. He has, he has given us goal contributions. And generally, he has been playing really well in terms of creating chances. He has been in form. So, Alonso has been playing really well this season. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like Ben Chiwell should be given this opportunity. So, I will be having Ben Chiwell for my midfield four. Now, for the pivot, I am having a problem with Jorginho. Jorginho needs to do better. And I feel like in terms of Kovacic too, in the previous game, he was just not there. I mean, of course, he, he, he was trying. He was trying to, you know, pass the ball to Lukaku. I mean, they have a very great connection, according to Thomas Pickel. So, he was just trying to pass the ball to Lukaku, but Lukaku was just not finishing the ball how we needed him to finish. We needed goals, but Lukaku... I don't know what's going on with Lukaku, but he needs to come back. He needs to tap into his inner chi, and I expect good and great results from Lukaku. <laughs> Anyway, in terms of my midfield four, so I will be expecting to see Jorginho and Kovacic, but I will not be surprised if Ruben Luftus Chick comes in and, you know, comes in maybe as a substitution. I mean, I will not be surprised, but I'll be having Jorginho and Kovacic. Then at the other end, for my right wing back, Aspil Lepota will have to do it. I mean, yes, he is a bit old. Yes, he's not as fast as Chris James, but he is creating chances. He has had assists. And Aspi Lukata is doing well at the right wing role. So I will be expecting to see Aspi Lukata at the right wing back. Then for my front three, now here is where Thomas Pickel is experimenting a lot. And I feel like you should be experimenting in training rather than on the pitch where we're losing. We're losing Thomas. So we need to redeem ourselves. We need to, we need goals. 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 <laughs> then for my front three, I will be having Mason Mount. Right next to him, I'll be having Timo Werner. Then up front, I will be having Lukaku. I expect a great game tomorrow. I expect a bit of connection, even though it's not too much. I mean, in terms of Southampton, we gave away one of our players, Livramento, and he has been he has been doing phenomenal. So Southampton, they have gone against big teams. Man United, they have drawn and. They are a tough team, so I expect a tougher squad. We have it in us. We have won the Champions League. Come on. Come on, you Blues. Come on, you can do it. So I expect a great game tomorrow. Hopefully, we are, we are able to nick in goals. As I said, Southampton is a very strong squad. They tactically are doing the most right now, and we need to win this game. We cannot lose this game. We need, we need to win this game. That being said, I mean, Southampton is a strong squad. But I expect two goals. Two goals from Chelsea. Two nil win. Let us try and start a new clean sheet. I mean, <laughs> it has already been spoiled by Man City. But we move, yeah? So I, but I'll, I will be expecting a two nil win for Chelsea. And hopefully we are able to win this game. 
in terms of Southampton, I am expecting them to put on a fight. So we better, we are going to war. We better put on our armor. We better, we better put on our armor and we better be ready. So with that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I'll be seeing you in my next video.